Hello, I'd like to talk to you for a little bit today about the importance of going to Bible college. I think every Christian young person finishing up in a Christian school ought to give God at least a year of your life in Bible college. It's a good way to come to God and say, God, here I am. I'm available. If you want me, I'll do whatever you want me to do. It'll help you whether you go into the ministry full-time as a vocation or whether you stay in as a lay minister or lay worker or lay Christian active in a church. A year of Bible college will help to make you a better soul winner. It'll make you a better father, a better mother, a better husband, a better wife, a better Sunday school teacher, a better bus worker. I mean, it's really going to help you with everything that really matters in life. Some folks wonder, you know, can I afford to go to Bible college? And I think the answer to that, at least at a school like Commonwealth, is absolutely. Uh, people call me every once in a while and say, Brother Jorgensen, I don't know that I can come to Bible college. I just, I don't have $5,000. Say, come with enough for your first payment. We'll help you find a job. We'll work with you on how to get back and forth to work. Uh, we'll work with you on a payment schedule. And you can make it financially at Commonwealth Baptist College. My wife and I enjoy working with the college students. I've enjoyed tremendously working in smaller schools where I really get to know every one of the students. We'll treat you like you were our kids. We'll love you, care about you. We'll work and answer your prayer requests. We want to know what they are. We want to know your burden and heartache. We want to help you succeed. My name is Paul Jorgensen. I teach history and Bible classes here at Commonwealth Baptist College and uh, they began Commonwealth Baptist College to train people to go into the ministry to start churches. In order to do that, somebody needs a good background. A, a, uh, they need to understand homiletics, need to understand their Bible, and need to be able to read it well. And we train those. We train people in that. We train people in soul winning. We train people in in uh, how to run a church budget and church meetings and and all the things that you need in order to start a church. But if you think about what's necessary to start a church, that, that that pioneering spirit of, of uh, going out to a new area where you don't know anybody, knocking on new doors, meeting new people, and, and uh, really relying on God to be able to help you. We, we, you know in order to start a church, a family needs to have that attitude or that desire of, God, it's basically just you and me. And when we go out to do this, uh, if we're successful at all, it's basically because, God, you, you blessed us and uh, you've made us successful. We understand that you know, in order to go out and start a church, you, you need that, uh, that, that, that spirit of, of a real communion with God, a, a real relationship with Him, a real reliance upon Him. And as Commonwealth Baptist College has expanded over the years to include other majors and other areas of, uh, other areas of study, that same spirit, that same desire that same burden to, to have a real walk with God, to have His power in our life, that understanding that in order to be successful in the ministry, we have to have God's power in our life, that same burden, that same spirit has really just permeated through all the other areas of uh, study here at the college. But most importantly, when somebody graduates from Commonwealth Baptist College, they're going to have had ample opportunity to learn from other people, to, to learn how to get alone with God and get His power on your life. Because if you have God's power on your life, He'll bless you in whatever you do. My name is Derek Young. I'm the Activities Director here at CBC. Now we're going to challenge you spiritually and you'll be challenged academically, but you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. We have a weekly activity that range from banquets to playing softball out back. We stress balance at Commonwealth Baptist College. We believe that somebody ought to have a well-rounded life. You ought to learn to be a good soul winner, to have a walk with God, to have a good solid family, to enjoy life, to have fun. Our majors are very well-rounded. We think our preachers need to not only learn how to preach the Bible and how to build church, they need to learn song leading and choir directing. They need to learn something about Christian education because when you get in the ministry, you're going to be involved in all that. They need to learn something about bookkeeping and keeping a budget and keeping books for the church. We provide a very well-rounded academic program here at Commonwealth Baptist College. You'll find our staff here at uh, Clays Melrose Baptist Church to be the friendliest of fellows. You'll enjoy getting to know them. You'll enjoy going soul winning with them. You'll enjoy learning from them. Uh, they're fun, happy fellows. 
uh, you'll enjoy the staff at the college. You'll enjoy their, their families. We're a very family-oriented uh, school. And uh, you'll learn from not just the lectures, but you'll learn from the lives of uh, the staff and their wives and their children. And uh, you'll find it to be a wonderful family. And you'll want to build a family just like these who have happy families here at our church and school. Let me say to you, Pastor, I do not desire to take away the loyalty of your young people from you, but to help and strengthen that. I'm thankful for every pastor from the largest cities in America and the largest churches to the uh, most rural of Baptist churches. I grew up in a small but growing church, and I don't want our young people to come here and become critical of home, but love home even more and love their pastor. I want to work with you in helping you uh, to continue in the training of your young people to serve the Lord Jesus. Let me say just a word to the parents. First of all, thank you for even considering allowing your son or daughter to attend Commonwealth Baptist College. I grew up in a Christian home. My dad was an old-fashioned Baptist preacher. My father went to be with the Lord several years ago. But I grew up in a home of uh, strong Bible standards and convictions, and I enjoy those. I am thankful for those safeties uh, that the Lord allowed my dad to teach me. I think that uh, you'll be able to trust Commonwealth Baptist College with your children. Uh, we'll watch over them spiritually, uh, physically. Uh, we want to make sure their needs are met, make sure that they enjoy preparing for the ministry. I enjoy talking to parents from time to time. Those that have need have been able to call me and uh, ask questions about their children. I care about them uh, individually. Uh, they're not just a number, they're people. I certainly do have a desire uh, to train young people and, and to be real in that training and to know the joy of uh, serving the Lord. Uh, what we need in America today are churches that will model the book of Acts. Uh, I like things first class. I like uh, things done right and decent. and I uh, like to have nice things and activities, but uh, the need that we have today is to get back to building old-fashioned, soul-winning, independent, fundamental Baptist churches separated from the world. And I would highly recommend for any, anyone who wanted to be trained in the Lord's work to come to Quaysmill Road Baptist Church because of the, uh, the hard work ethics that I see all of my travels throughout the United States, I've never seen any opening of the service where people's hearts are prepared as much as at Clay's Mill Road Baptist Church. There's nothing like it, getting the people ready to be hear a sermon and, and preparing them and feeling like that they've been to church. I, I, I think anyone who comes to the church there and sees uh, the opening statement and the hymns is sung and the praise to the Lord Jesus uh, is second to none. When God knitted my heart and Dr. Fugate's heart together about reaching Kentucky. We set a goal that we'd like to see at least 50 churches started in to reach our people here in Kentucky. And so he, be, he and I began to go out and have tent revivals and, uh, and uh, churches. And one of them is in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. We went there and uh, it was 105 degrees on the outside. I don't know why it was inside, but I know when I quit speaking myself, I came out, I was wet with sweat all over. And so, but now there's a church there and probably running 125 to 150 a Sunday and doing a marvelous work. A lot of people are getting saved. And we also started one in Elizabethtown and then, uh, and that church is thriving and going and they go into a building program. And then in uh, Danville, Kentucky, I, they run, I guess, approximately 300 in that church. And so, it's our goal is to, as, as we get preacher boys and train them, we want to expand this and start building churches. We want you to be able to learn things that you could take to a rural setting, where you could take to the country and build a good local New Testament Baptist church. You can take the principles that you learn here and you can apply them in a setting uh, in a major city, in a suburb, in the country. We're copyable here at Clays Mill Road Baptist Church and Commonwealth Baptist College. There are no secrets to the ministry. 
It's just a matter of learning the Bible principles that we can apply to our lives. I believe life is divided into four major areas, and we want you to have a balance in life. There's your walk with God, your service for God, your relationship with your family, and your responsibility to yourself. Those four major areas need to be balanced in your life so that you can not only serve God, but you can have joy in serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Being a father is a wonderful thing. Being a husband is a wonderful thing. Being a pastor is a wonderful thing. I've been told I had to choose between having a growing church and a happy family. I didn't believe that then. I don't believe it now. I have a happy family. Four children and a wife that I love with all my heart and yet a ministry that's growing. We're seeing people saved and baptized and added to our church. I love to see numerical growth. But the greatest joy as a pastor is to see people growing spiritually, to see their marriages strengthening, to see their families coming in, enjoying being in Sunday school and church, families sitting together, enjoying the singing, enjoying the preaching, enjoying serving the Lord Jesus. You'll find that when you come here, you'll be quickly accepted by the family at Clays Mill Road Baptist Church. We're delighted to have young people come and train here at Clays Mill Road Baptist Church and Commonwealth Baptist College. You'll find yourself to be a part of a happy and a friendly family.